Have you ever thought of breaking into the White House could be possible because of the insane features? The White House sits at the core of the world's largest political country, the United States. Thus, following World War II, the defense was enhanced to combat the threat of an attack on it. The security of the White House has been enhanced in ways that are beyond comprehension. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more intriguing videos like this, and be sure to watch this video to the end. Number 10. Strong Windows You've surely seen 147 of them in images of the president's office. The majority of the windows line the back wall, allowing for plenty of natural light, but also allowing others to peep in, which is why the White House windows are backed up with a second layer of ballistic glass behind the standard windows. The vice president of Complete Security Solutions has speculated that the ballistic glass is most likely a level 8 glass-covered polycarbonate. But we'll never know for sure because none of us have access to the presidential security files. What we do know is that ballistic glass is not cheap. One square foot of the protective layer costs $100. On the evening of Friday, November 11, 2011, a guy from Idaho named Oscar Ortega Hernandez allegedly fired two bullets from a high-powered rifle toward the south face of the White House from a car more than 2,100 feet away. While one shot went rogue and landed in the grass, the other struck at a stored window, where the layer of ballistic glass did its job and stopped the bullet. Number 9. Drones A few years later, in January 2015, although no damage was done and it was entirely inadvertent, one government employee was testing his drone on the wide White House lawn. The drone flew across the sky undetected by several security systems, but when he landed the drone on the grass, a slew of sirens went off. White House security rushed into a frenzy, but it was a false alarm, revealing an alarming weakness in the White House security protocol. They couldn't guarantee to spot mid-air drones, so they implanted their drones for two specific goals. One will serve as a roving security camera, while the other two will hunt down any other hazardous drones that enter the White House's airspace. Drone manufacturers are contributing by using a software feature known as geofencing. If a drone flies into a stringent no-fly zone, its built-in GPS will detect the boundary and the drone will halt mid-flight. Number 8. Laser Web The landing drone tripped one of the many infrared sensors that cover the White House lawns which sounded the alarm. The White House sensors aren't set up in laser-like patterns that are activated by movement. They're far more thorough and foolproof than what you'd see in an espionage or robbery film. What happens if those alarms go off? It doesn't take long for a sensor to be tripped, whether it's the SWAT squad on the roof, the security dogs surrounding the grounds, or the Secret Service at the door. Before you know it, someone will have taken down the invader and neutralized the threat. When someone decides to scale the fence, the so-called perimeter of protection activates, alerting the White House's security staff to a potential threat. Although jumping the fence without a pogo stick might be challenging these days, we'll get to it later. Number 7. Secret Agents Regarding the Secret Service agents we indicated, there are around 1,200 Secret Service agents posted around the clock 24 hours a day, 7 days a week across Washington, D.C., including not just the White House, but also the embassies and diplomatic missions. The Secret Service employs an additional 2,800 agents who work in plain clothes throughout the area. The Secret Service's specialized methods in both threat prevention and threat response are as significant as any job in existence. The agents who patrol the White House grounds are divided into emergency reaction squads and are frequently hidden from public view, ready to pounce at any time. If an alarm is raised, instead of waiting for attackers to enter their zone, they jump into action and rush to the breached area. Armed with semi-automatic guns, they can dispatch a violent intruder fairly instantly. Did you know they have to accompany the president to the restroom and that they wear such dark shades for a reason? Number 6. No-Fly Zone On February 17, 1974, a U.S. Army soldier named Robert K. Preston hijacked a Huey helicopter from Tipton Field in Maryland and landed it on the White House's South Lawn. Twenty years later, in 1994, a light plane circled the Washington Monument 
and crashed on White House grounds, both of which were serious security breaches that resulted in Washington, D.C. being declared a no-fly zone. If a plane does not follow the precise landing path into Ronald Reagan National Airport, the pilot is issued a harsh warning that failing to reroute can be fatal. Why? Because dozens of surface-to-air missiles are stationed surrounding the capital, ready to detect any potential aerial danger and destroy it before it can get close to the White House or the President. Ruber has claimed that one of those missile launch platforms is buried beneath the White House's renowned dome, but this has yet to be verified, and perhaps we won't need to know for sure as long as the missile launchers remain hidden. Number 5. The Fence The barrier is about as blatant as it gets in terms of security. The White House fence has undergone a modest but significant modification since it was first built in 1801 when President Thomas Jefferson was in charge. It was only a barrier to keep the president's animals on the land. If an invader tried to jump over it, he'd barely break a sweat. It's a different tale these days. The fence is not only topped with sharp spikes to dissuade would-be climbers, but it also has a built-in pressure mechanism that informs White House agents the moment somebody touches it with any significant force, significantly stronger than it appears. Even if you manage to avoid the guards and hop the fence, the 11-foot-tall mesh of steel and rebar is strong enough to bring charging cars to a halt. Number 4. Belgian Malinois There are a plethora of other security issues that would be much more difficult to overcome, one of which is the Belgian Malinois dogs that patrol the premises. Canines have been used to protect the Oval Office since 1975, and despite their charming appearance, they can be dangerous. The Belgian Malinois is the ideal mix of compassionate and brutal. They're fantastic with children, but take no prisoners when it comes to pursuing invaders. They take off like bullets to apprehend offenders, reaching speeds of 30 miles per hour and having a 270-degree field of view. That is why several of these dogs are utilized in the military. In fact, one of them was part of the team that assassinated Osama bin Laden in 2014. Hurricane and Jordan, two loyal canines who responded to an intruder and took down fence jumper Dominic Adesanya, put their training to the test. What qualifications are required to become a Secret Service dog? Secret Service canines normally cost $6,500 to $8,500 on average, and they must complete 20 weeks of training with handlers before reporting for service. They typically work in the field until the age of 10 before settling down. Number 3. Tourism Security and Food Testers The fact that the general public can still come here after such security is strange. However, even the president's protection is guaranteed. The request must be submitted 21 days before roaming, and the applicant is tracked for 21 days. The food tester, as you are all aware, also tests the president's meal to determine if there is any flaw or risk in it. The president will receive it later. Number 2. Secret Bunker A bunker was built to protect the president, which is thought to have been built secretly in 2010. These bunkers protect the president, and you should be aware that there is already a central bunker in place to safeguard the president, where he will be safe. Number 1. Concrete Barrier The White House defense has been created with extremely powerful concrete barriers so that if a high-speed truck collides, the truck will suffer. Breaking the barriers would be impossible. Therefore, entering the White House with a truck or car is challenging, especially when attempting to break this barrier. Which of these do you think is the toughest? Let us know in the comment section below. With that being said, that's all for today. Thank you for spending some time with us. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button and the notification bell and subscribe to our channel to get access to more interesting videos from us. Till next time.